see the evolution of a parameter, you can use Martmet's time serial view. You can open the time serial view by clicking the icon on the toolbar. And it should open something like this. At first, it's just empty before you add some data. You can add a parameter to this time series view by right-clicking the gray area and then trying to find the parameter from the list. We can add, for example, ECMWF 2 meter temperature. The red curve is observed temperature and all the other curves are forecasted temperatures. If you are doing editing, the operational data shown also here on top right corner is this thicker purple line. All the other lines that are thinner are different weather models. The timeline works the same way as on the time series view. Using your control and mouse scroll, you can zoom in and zoom out on the timeline. You can also click left to go backward in time and right to go forward in time. Note this vertical line that is showing you the exact time you are at. If your scaling looks a bit different or funny, you can see if your auto adjust box is ticked on. It should automatically bring you the curve as you want it to see. If you want to modify it by yourself, you have to tick it off and then use your control button to either scroll over this left side of the window or you can just click to change the sparsing. Time series view is very useful with control points. So let's click out adjust and make this a little bit smaller Then I can zoom in a bit. If I tick on this control point mode and then click on the control point, you can automatically see how the curve I see on the right hand side now is exactly from that control point's location. It's also telling you which station it is. Here in Finland it's Tampere. And you can also see how far away from that point your control point actually is. You want to have this distance as close to zero as possible. In that way, you can easily see and compare your edited data or your forecasted data and the weather models to the observed curve. Remember that when you are using time series view, the time on the map is always from the one time. So for example, here Thursday, 12 UTC, the temperature here is 7.3 degrees. But on the time series view, you see this point's time series for this desired parameter. You can add more parameters if you want. You can add, for example, another, let's say, wind speed. Then you can visualize it at the same time. 